Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to transfer all of your data from one old Mac to a brand new Mac. So this is a brand new MacBook Pro, which I've just opened up. It's on the hello screen. And what I want to do is to get all of the data from my old Mac onto the new one. So that includes applications, passwords, settings, etc. All of it, I just want to dump onto the new computer without having to kind of redo the whole process from scratch. And we're going to be using a process called Migration Assistant. So this is going to transfer the data live from one computer to the other. I'm going to show you this full process from start to finish. So first thing I'm going to do is to make sure both computers are turned on. So this one's on the hello screen. This is the first thing you see when you turn on the computer for the first time when you open it up brand new. What I want to do is to touch the trackpad and then select our language. And then I'm going to go through the very initial setup process. So we're going to select our country here, and then we're going to say not now to accessibility. We're going to select our Wi-Fi network. So just click on the Wi-Fi network and type in the password. Then on the data privacy screen, we're going to press continue. And then we get to the migration assistance screen. So it says here, do you want to transfer information from another Mac? So, so here, what I'm going to do is to press continue and then continue here. So it's recommending here that we have a charger plugged in. We're going to do this a little bit later. Press continue. Now what's happening is the new Mac is waiting for a source to appear on the same Wi-Fi network. So now with the old Mac, what we're going to do is to set up migration assistant. So we need to click on the top right hand side on the spotlight icon, and then we're going to type in migration assistant, press return. Here it says use migration assistant to transfer the data. We're going to go ahead and do that now. So here I'm going to press continue. We're going to type in our computer password and press OK. Everything's going to turn off and it's going to load up the full migration assistant window. So just wait for that to finish. So here it's now asking how do you want to transfer information? We want to transfer it to another Mac. So we're going to select this bottom option here and then press continue. So now both Macs are looking for each other. And because they are on the same Wi-Fi network, they're going to discover each other. So this new Mac has now seen the old Mac called test. And what we're going to do is to select that Mac. So make sure that's the one that you want to transfer over. That's whatever the name of that MacBook is. And then we're going to press continue. So here it's just making sure that this code is also corresponding with the code that appears on the old Mac screen. So on the old Mac, we're going to press continue. And now what's going to do is to look for applications and documents to transfer. So just wait for that to finish. So now the old Mac has discovered various applications, files, etc., to transfer from the old Mac. And it's basically calculating how much space it's going to take. Won't worry about that too much. I'm going to press continue anyway. And then here we're going to set a password for the administrator. So you just have to create a new password for this account. It can be exactly the same as the old password if you want it to be. Now we're going to press continue and then we're going to agree to the terms and conditions, press agree. And then we're going to agree to the software license agreement. And now it's going to start transferring your data. So at this stage, it's a good idea to charge your Mac as well, because this process is going to take a while. So my old Mac is being charged and then I'm going to charge my new Mac as well. Now that's charged. This is all going to continue here. So you can kind of see that this data is actually connected via peer to peer. If you want this to go any faster, what you can do is connect network cable directly into the computer. You can also use a Thunderbolt 4 cable to connect the old computer to the new one, make this process a little bit faster. However, we are doing peer to peer transfer. Here it's saying it's going to take one hour. So this is not actually too bad. We have fast Wi Fi peer to peer connection and it's going to work fine. So it really depends on the speed of your old Mac. You might want to hard wire to network if this is going a little bit too slow for you. But now it's saying 45 minutes, it's going 38 megabytes per second, which is actually really, really, really fast. So the modern Macs don't really necessarily need faster than this to actually get a usable connection. So anyway, I'm going to wait for this to finish before we continue on to the next step. So after a while, you'll see that the migration is complete. So it says here, migration to your new Mac is complete. And we can press done here. And what we're going to do is basically log in with our account from the original Mac. So this has got my username now. This is no longer a new Mac. It's got all of my previous data. So here we're just going to sign up with our Apple ID. Here it's asking for file vault disk encryption. You can turn this off or on if you like. You can just keep mine on. Here you can set up touch ID if you like. We're going to continue without it. And you can also set up Apple Pay too. Anyway, this computer is basically fully complete. We've got all of our old apps and settings set up here. With the old computer, we have migration completed here. If we press done, then it's going to go ahead and log out and we have identical accounts. And basically there's just some minor things which need to be set up again on the new computer, but the migration is now complete. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.